Hello students, under the topic Lagrange's partial differential equation, here we have problem 7. Now the given question is of the Lagrange's form and so let us compare it with the standard form of the Lagrange's partial differential equation. The standard form of the Lagrange's partial differential equation is given by capital P small p plus capital Q small q is equal to capital R. Now comparing with the given equation, we get capital P to be equal to so it is 3xy because this is small p. So the value of capital P will be 3xy. So we have obtained the value of capital P. Capital Q will be equal to, so here we have small q. It's uh, We have z squared with it. So z squared is capital Q. And then capital R is the one that is on the right. So capital R is equal to we have a negative sign, negative y is z. So, this is capital R. So, now we have obtained capital P, Q and R. Next, we have to write the auxiliary equation. So, the auxiliary equation is given by this. Now, let us substitute P, Q and R over here. So, we get dx by 3xy is equal to dy by z square is equal to d is z by negative y is z. So, this is the auxiliary equation. Let us mark this as 1, 2 and 3. Now, we shall compare each of these equations and obtain the general solution phi of u, comma v equal to 0. So, while comparing 1 and 3, 1 is given by dx by 3xy and that is equal to... So, now I am going to compare 1 and 3 over here. So, when I compare 1 and 3, I, we, I observe that y and y gets cancelled and we are left out with dx by 3x is equal to dz by minus z. So now it can be easily integrated. So what I am going to do, I am going to take this constant 3 to the right. So I get dx by x is equal to, we have a negative sign also. So negative 3 dz by z. So this is what we get. Now, integrating on both the sides, we get, what is the integration of dx by x? We get it as log x. And that is equal to, what is the, on the right, what do we have? Minus 3. And the integration of dz by z is log z. Plus, now because we have logarithm over here, both as logarithm, we can write it as log c1, the constant. So, taking this to the left, we get log x plus 3 log z to be equal to logarithm of c1. And we know that log a and, uh, and this 3 constant 3 can be written in the numerator because we know that if you have b log a, then it can be written as log a to the power b. So, remember this rule from logarithm. If you have b log a, it can be written as log a to the power b. Now here in the place of b we are having 3 and here and at the place of a we are having z. So this will be log x plus this 3 log z can be written as log a to the power b. a is what z and b is what 3. So z to the power 3 I am sorry z to the power 3 and that is equal to logarithm of c1. Now because we have log x plus log z part 3 that is we know that log a plus log b can be written as log ab. So, using this, this can be written as log x multiplied with z to the power 3 is equal to logarithm of c1. And since we have logarithm on both the sides, we, are, we, we, are, we can say that xz cube is equal to c1. Therefore, our first solution u we have obtained to be equal to x multiplied with z to the power 3. So, this is the solution u. Now, we shall compare the uh, equation that is uh, 1 and 2 we finished. We couldn't find the solution. 1 and 3 we compared and we, go, we have got the solution u. Now, we shall compare 2 and 3 and get the solution v. So, comparing equation 2 and 3 what we get is we get dy by z squared equal to dz by negative yz. So, one of the z's gets cancelled and we get dy by uh, z is equal to d is, uh, I mean d is z by negative y. 
let us take this y to the left and this z to the right so what do we get y dy is equal to we have a negative sign that we will write here y dy is equal to z dz now integrating on both the sides what we get the integration of y is y squared by 2 is equal to negative z squared by 2 plus c2 the second constant now bringing this to the left we get so here we have when while bringing this to the left y squared by 2 plus z squared by 2 is equal to c2 and so therefore the second solution will be y squared plus z squared equal to when we take the lcm and it goes to the right it becomes 2c2 but 2c2 is again a constant which can be written as c2 in general so therefore the second solution v is equal to y square plus z square so therefore we have obtained the solution u and the solution v as well and hence the general solution is given by i am writing here in order to complete the problem phi of u comma v equal to 0 what is u x z cube comma v what is v y square plus z square so this is equal to 0 is the general solution that we obtain so hope you have understood this problem thank you